quick video from me guys today. It's a breakdown of refurb costs in October 2022. These costs are true to the Midlands, the North and Wales. So get a pen, take notes and watch this video. bedroom semi-detached property which is what most of you will probably start with now as soon as we walk in and we have the keys the first thing that you want to do is the strip out you want to remove fires like this fireplaces skirting board architrave on the doors the internal doors frames strip the wallpaper remove the kitchen remove the bathroom and any furniture that the people who you bought the property from might have left and a strip out today costs around 1500 to 2000 pounds. Strip out is complete. Now we are on to the rewire. Now a rewire consists of new consumer units and having the wires from the consumer unit lead to all of your plug sockets, your light switches and where you're having your internal lights. So your internal lights from our perspective should always consist of spotlights because it gives the wow factor. And depending on your strategy, if you're flipping, it massively, massively, massively gives the wow factor. So it's something that we like to do with the spotlights. A full rewire on a property like this is around three and a half thousand pounds. and you will have a brand new boiler, brand new radiators, and brand new pipes. Little tip, I don't like the pipes coming out of the ground. I like them to come out of the wall from behind the radiators to give that floating appearance. Cost of this, three and a half thousand pounds. Plastering is next and it's full back to brick, which means all the existing plasterboards are knocked off the walls in the entire house and reboarded. Then they are skimmed and the cost of this is around 5,000 pounds. Carpentry. Now most builders will fit new door frames before they plaster and carpentry consists of new skirting board, new architrave and new internal doors. The cost of this is around two and a half thousand pounds. Most semi-detached houses have a three piece bathroom which consists of a bath, a sink and a toilet. Now the cost of renovating a bathroom of this size is around two and a half thousand pounds. The kitchen is the heart of the home and depending on size and spec, we spend around three to five thousand pounds. Flooring. Now we say that we like tiles in the kitchen, tiles in the bathroom, laminated or carpets in the living room and carpets in the bedroom. We average and we are quoted around 40 pounds per square meter supply and fit. If you're buying a property, look on the Gov UK website the EPC rating tells you what the square meters of the house is, so you can calculate what your cost will be. Painting of the whole property. Now we paint our houses in matte and we paint all our woodwork in satin. The cost of this is 2,000 pounds. On a BRRR project, you will replace all of the external windows and doors. Usually the seven windows and a front and back door. The cost of replacing all of these comes in at around five to six thousand pounds. Now guys, if you watch the YouTube channel and you know me, my favorite part of the whole house, chimney breasts. I hate them. To remove a chimney breast in a house, you're looking at around 750 pound per chimney breast. That includes the structural engineer's report and the removal. Something you need to pay close attention to when purchasing a property is the roof. Now the cost of replacing a roof on a three bedroom semi-detached house in the Midlands, the North and Wales is around £5,000. One cost that I'm not going to give you guys today is the cost of a front and back garden. Now, depending on the size, you can spend an absolute fortune or you can get it done on a budget. So I'm going to leave you guys to figure that one out for yourselves. Finally, 
If you want the best house on the street, like me and Isabella always do, it's rendering. Now remember, rendering is a luxury and not a necessity, but to render a house like this on the front, the side and the back, it costs around 5,000 pounds. So there you have a full breakdown of a refurb in the Midlands, the North and Wales. There you have it guys, a quick education video from me. Now, do you want to see more education videos? Because I keep getting asked that the midweek videos are more education based along with the before and afters. If so, comment below what you want to know and I will get it out to you guys. But for now, I'm out of here and I will see you next week for another video.